The Old West is full of legends. And you, Arthur Morgan, soon will be one of the greatest, I'm sure. Because legends, you know, they never die. They change to come back stronger than ever. Yeah, that was actual footage coming from Call of War's developer Techland, who I guess was sending a message to Arthur Morgan, which I thought I'd include at least at the start of this video, because I thought it was really cool, a tip of the hat moment. Obviously, if you don't know, Techland is the developer of their own Wild West gaming franchise, and I do wonder if they were teasing a new installment to come. But anyway, again, very cool, but today we have more gameplay previews of Red Dead Redemption 2 to go over, as well as a new reveal coming from Rockstar Games. Before we get to all of that, if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on for all the latest Red Dead Redemption 2 news coming before and after release, and also make sure to get geared up for this upcoming western by getting the popular Red Moon or Wanted shirt designs. If you're interested in getting these Red Dead themed t-shirts or any of the other designs, there will be a link in the description. So we're going to start with today's big news, which is Rockstar's focus on weapons. They began the day by posting the following image of Arthur Morgan with a bandana on and him pointing his revolver in one hand and in the other holding I believe something like a Spencer 1865 carbine which may have another fictionalized in-game name but this image appears to be taking place in the Bayou region of the map and obviously Arthur Morgan is without a hat and I just love the engravings on his revolver but Rockstar did provide a caption above this image which gives further insight into gun customization it says weapon choice and customization in Red Dead Redemption 2, from visual upgrades like new metals, woods, varnishes, and engravings, to performance upgrades like new barrels, grips, sights, and scopes. Design an entirely unique weapon that looks and handles exactly the way you want. But yeah, from the various images and some of the scenes in the two gameplay videos, you'll notice there is a ton of customization options with our weapons. Some cosmetic like engravings and some that upgrade certain aspects of your weapon that can help improve things like damage, accuracy, range, fire rate, reload speed, and condition. But next to the other post that followed, we again have Arthur Morgan in what appears to be the Bayou region of La Grasse, which is close to the massive city of Saint Denis. He obviously is dual wielding two revolvers and the caption for this image is carry single-handed pistols revolvers and the single-handed sawed-off shotgun in your holsters upgraded and reinforced holsters will protect the weapons from degradation against the elements while offhand holsters give you the ability to dual wield so every aspect of this game has some sort of customization everything that arthur morgan uses and our holsters are going to be very important but just like weapons upgrading our holsters will make things a lot easier and we won't have to worry about our revolver's condition as much. As I said earlier, gameplay previews continue to be shown. We've gotten new impressions from some of Rooster Teeth's staff, and they, like everyone else, can't believe what they played and are excited for the 26th. But interestingly, Alana Pierce did give clarification on a feature that we discussed recently. She stated the article circling, saying that if you remove your heads-up display in the game, NPCs will give you more directions are false. They'll always give you directions. People likely just notice them more when their heads-up display was off. The original source of this feature was a Belgian magazine, but what this means is that either with or without the heads-up display, NPCs will direct you. Still a very nice feature that makes probably more sense now, that still will come in handy for those wanting the more realistic experience with a heads-up display off. Now continuing on, recently Digital Spy published a gameplay preview that included some more details on things like hunting. They noted that after a successful hunt and kill, you can examine the animal to see a rating of 1 to 3 stars to inform you the quality and value of the meat. Additionally, it's said that if you decide to use a gun and shoot an animal, you likely will receive 1 star, but using something like a bow and arrow and aiming for the head or key organs will earn a 3 star rating. Now, even after you take out an animal, there is some decisions that you have to make as you can either skin it, then collect the carcass, or leave it whole. Skinning the animal allows you to sell the pelt, but their exposed guts will attract predators and meat can even rot if left on your horse for too long. So yes, hunting is much more detailed this time around, with more consequences for how you go about it. 
It was also said that you can hunt legendary animals. There will be one of each species, we've already known about that. But if you take them to trappers, you can craft rare clothing. Which I do wonder if there are any added benefits to hunting legendary animals besides a unique piece of clothing. Now, besides just hunting, there was also an interesting detail added about traveling. Apparently, if you were to lose your horse for whatever reason, instead of having to walk all the way back to town, a passerby can offer you lifts on their horse or wagon, meaning you don't always have to resort to violence by stealing a horse. Now, as I noted before, there has been even more previews, but most of the included details we already know and have gone over. Although, thankfully, Rockstar Intel on Twitter highlighted some new details that were mentioned. So, Arthur Morgan can sit in any chair, and sitting next to an NPC allows him to listen to their conversations, get information, and anecdotes that could have previously been missed. You'll also have to buy a train ticket at the station if you want to ride a train without having the law come down on you. And lastly, you can heckle at theater performances, provoke or encourage the artists, and even boo them, asking for your money back. So in a lot of ways, theater shows are likely... Well, they're kind of like social media. But yeah, we discussed a lot of new information, and I personally expect Rockstar Games to have a dedicated page to weapons on the Red Dead Redemption 2 features page, probably tomorrow or Friday. I actually thought that that would come today, but it at least appears at the time of this recording there's only been the two posts we discussed earlier in this video. Anyway, gang, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the new images and information revealed today down in the comment section below. But a big shout out to some of the newest channel members, Curtis Will. Wilson, Bladen, Isaiah Fulcher, Shaney Shane Gaming, Cam, MCDC4891, and JNDHD. You can become a member and support the channel by clicking the join button below. But also make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and also consider subscribing for much more Red Dead Redemption 2 content to come, as I'm one of your best sources on this upcoming game. And remember, Outlaws for Life.